What's going on guys? Casey here. Uh, welcome back to the channel for another video. I'm wearing the same clothes as the last video because this is the same day. Um, we are back on the SSR 160 TX pit bike. I'm going to get this thing cleaned off because the person I bought it from sold it to me covered in mud, which is seems to be a very common thing in my area. I don't know about you guys. Leave it down in the comments if that's something you see all the time in your area and where you're from and let me know i think that's just a very bad selling point is to try to sell a bike dirty if you want to try to get top dollar out of a bike you need to at least wash it you're never going to get a good offer you're going to get low balled and it just makes things complicated but we're going to get to cleaning this thing and i'm going to do a little fancy camera action and just like that it's clean so we're going to wheel this thing inside and get a side-by-side -side comparison with the pitster pro 155 all right so we're in the garage we got them side by side as you can see first glance front ends are identical um the only thing that, so they have the same head which is the klx style head and they both got oil coolers our bottom ends are different because mine's a 160 and his is a 150 155 whatever they got going on this crappy filter um but swing arms are the same mine is polished aluminum his is cerakoted but they're the same swing arm um as you can see now that's cleaned off my rear shock and my shock block on the swing arm is the same as his same exhaust just you know things are different colors i'm assuming they're the same wheels with um different hubs but they're probably the same like cheap Chinese rims, which bend. So we'll both be upgrading them. Um, he's got a Cerakoted billet gas cap. I have polished aluminum billet gas cap. <clears throat> uh, same triple clamps. Mine are black. His are Cerakoted. Mine say SSR. His says Pitster Pro. Um, like I said, mine's newer, so it's got the black style forks that every all the companies are going with now. But they're basically the same forks. Same fork guards, just different brake line holder, um, same front rim. I don't know, the hubs are different. That's one thing. Definitely a different style hub. I uh, know the brake caliper is the same. Yep. Yeah, brake calipers look pretty no, much the same. Uh, mine's a two piston. piston, yours is a single, which you yeah. could probably upgrade because you'll be able to get parts like from I'll mine. I'll be replacing pretty much everything on the bike besides the engine and the frame and the swing arm <coughs> and the suspension. I'm going to say the frames are probably identical. I would assume so. Yeah, we got a bare frame to show if they want to see. Like I said, oil coolers mounting the same, just different bracketing. Um, but gas tanks are basically in the same spot. It's pretty identical bikes. I think people, most people who aren't educated, not saying that in a bad way, but don't really know these, would assume they're the same bike. You know, they also assume they're the same as the KLX. But here's a bit the bare frame. Um, basically the same thing as the KLX until you get back here. And then they got the cradle frame, which is the cradles built into the frame, unlike the KLX. And then the rear subframe unbolts, which is cool. Makes it easier to pull stuff apart and clean them up so it's pretty cool uh, we have an idea for the frame this frame on this bike here because he's actually going to switch to this one pretty cool idea in the upcoming videos and in future <coughs> with this frame and extra parts and extra engine be pretty fun um, but yeah I mean he's got different bars which he has basically the same bars on the table I don't like these are way too tall with these tall triple clamps these bars are like really tall. So I'm probably going to go something closer to this, more um, big bike style bars. <laughs> yeah. So Marzucci, GPX on the Pitster Pro. And these are, I don't even know. I would have to look at what graphics they come with to see. But it's very similar. These engines are similar to the Piranhas. All these Chinese bikes are real close when you get into the higher class more of the race style We're bikes the YX. yeah the yx so this is a yx 160 you guys can see that and then his is a yx 150 so you can see the same style heads <clears throat> the covers will switch over uh, 
yeah i mean that's really it this says it's a mccuni carb but i'm not sure if it's a knockoff um it kind of looks like it might be so i'll probably be going to the same carb setup he has with that nibby uh, i don't know if we show we showed that in the last yes, video you did. but i'll probably gonna go to this same carb setup once we get it on his bike and see how well it runs uh yeah i mean that's really it what we're gonna do is let's take the number plate oh, the other side don't have a number plate but actually let's take it off on this side so i can show the setup on what we want to do all right so what we're thinking we're gonna do with these bikes because as you've seen on mine the air filter just sits out in the open like that but what's nice about these frames is they got this empty spot right here and um what i'm gonna do is we're gonna make air boxes for these and then the carb sits there and we're gonna get tubing and run it up through here whether i find whether we use rubber or metal depending on what's gonna work the best run it up through here and plumb it into a box that i'm gonna build to sit right in here with the filter and this way it'll be like a big bike and then on the like these number plates they have this notch out for your hand we're just going to completely cut them out and, pl and plumb that into the air box and then we're going to make the air box under the seat it'll give it a way better look and i think the filters will last a lot longer instead of sticking out like this um i gotta get that bolted up then see when you buy a used bike you don't you just get somebody else's project but yeah i mean <clears throat> that's where we're at on it so I don't know filmed a pretty cool outro for this video <clears throat> and i think that's it for now i think the next video we'll, we'll tear them down and get them start getting them tore apart and we'll be able to really see how similar they are we're going to do full builds on these we'll probably get into some japanese bikes like the klx and the crfs depending on what comes up for good deals along with content we're going to race them won't be this winter uh, maybe we'll get into some outdoor races this summer we got a couple places that race by us. We also we also have a bobcat, so we might uh, build. Yeah, a build a track would be cool. Jumps and some burn <coughs> back. His neighbor back here behind the garage, his son races. Um, what sixty fives or is he on eighty five yet? He's moving to eighty five this year. So and he rides a lot. He does a lot of riding in his yard over there. Well, the yards touch each other. They're just separated by some trees and a couple piles of rocks. So. He might be interested in combining the two yards build a little bit a little track nothing crazy but a few jumps and berms just to get some ride time on while we're at the sh at the shop here and then that kid can have a little bit better area to ride so yep and we'll also get some rc action out there too yeah that'll be cool anything we build for the pit bikes anything we do for the pit bikes you'll be able to run these on they got plenty of power they'll jump just as far i would say oh, probably yeah. further yeah. oh yeah <laughs> you know these things get up to what uh, the bigger ones about 50 around 50. yeah and they the say smaller one geared right i could probably get the smaller one between 70 and 80. that's faster than these things i think top speed on these might be like 60. so that'll be a cool little race yeah. we're gonna run these bikes against each other too to show you how they stack up with stock engines i weigh probably a good 100 pounds on my brother so my bike's just a little bit bigger cc so that should probably make them pretty equal as far as speed wise and then i want to race these things that would be pretty cool if we yeah, can get them to go straight enough down the road or even through a field super quick uh zero to you know off the start yeah so we might have to let the bike take off first and then run the car but that'd be pretty cool just for fun something to do <clears throat> and then we got a couple other projects like pw50 ktm50 uh, all the foolers that are running around you know so it should be some pretty good content to come in the future but we're gonna end this video here and um i know i got some stuff to do things to do we'll get on to the next one so you guys will show you the clip of what i did outside and the outro and you guys have a good day
And that's how you smoke a tire off. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe, and comment. You guys have a good day.